Andrew Hogue here on Heavy at Home, the All-Australian program, every Monday night from 8pm. And you certainly would have been hearing this band cranked quite heavily the last few weeks as they are, of course, uh, now out on the road. We're talking about The Nerve, a new band to some of you, but when you check out the members' uh, sort of past records, you'll certainly know that these lads are no strangers to the road and, uh, of course, uh, adoring fans as well. Let's get acquainted with Ezekiel Ox, a frontman for the band, about the uh, the tour and everything to do with The Nerve. G'day, Zeke. Welcome to Heavy at Home on andrewhogue.com. Hey, Hoagie. Thanks for having me. No worries. Of course, the uh, the tour is now underway, but before we sort of uh, delve into tour dates and where people can catch you, again, a lot of people uh, don't probably know too much about The Nerve being a new band, but then when people start to figure out, as I said, the... Uh, the uh, history of some of the band members, uh, it certainly rings out loud and true that uh, you guys are certainly well-worn road veterans. Fill us in on, obviously, just how this band came about. I know you've been friends for years touring in uh, with each other's bands and, and whatnot, but uh, did you ever think that this would sort of uh, come together playing with some of your uh, long-time uh, road buddies? It came together sort of through a connection that wasn't to do with the, the long-term friendships, although that, that was, that's was that been extremely helpful. So when Glenn saw me play um, with Full Scale and we had a we had a real connection, um, I guess aesthetically, you know, Glenn knew that he wanted to play with me and I always liked the way he played because it was sort of, you know, quite audacious in his own way. And um, then Lucius and I have been playing in, in other projects and particularly supporting each other's projects with both me performing with COG and uh, all of my other heavy bands that people may know supporting COG. They were sort of always pulling lots of heads and that sort of thing at every stage of their career. So, and then sort of Glenn got me in and then I got Lush in and then Reggie got Devage in. It's really important not to underestimate Reggie Bowman's uh, contribution to this, um, who's like the sonic facilitator and producer. Um, He's, he's really given us the space to be able to create it. Because the weirdest part was we wrote the album on Skype so and recorded it in different parts of the world and that was had its own challenges. But, I mean, I guess it's weird because it, 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 it probably feels like something that we all worked really hard on and, and we had to sort of uh, try hard to get to work, but it, it happened really organically and then... We've, we've stood in the room together for the first time about four days before our first gig, so it's a fucking strange band, and I don't know how it happened, but it, it is definitely happening. Does it feel good to be actually in a, a, a band now, I guess, with sort of somewhat like-minded musicians? I mean, you know, as you've obviously we've known over the years, uh, the bands you've been in have certainly had uh, great established followings and then sadly have uh, gone sort of, you know, Splitsville and whatnot, and I mean, has it been sort of a frustrating ride to sort of I guess, climb back up the ladder, so to speak, and, and then now being in a band where uh, hopefully you feel completely comfortable at home with the uh, the players. Yeah, well, I do feel at home with the guys in the nerve. Um, I don't know if it's a sad thing that the previous projects that any of us have been in have broken up. You know, um, it's a funny one. Um, I've never felt frustrated with, with the way the bands have gone because um, we've had such good runs and there's no point hanging around in something that's not working, you know, and maybe that, I mean, I know we're, we're currently having a chat on a rock and metal station, but there's probably that, that punk rock attitude in that, which is that um, um, you really don't, you're certainly not going to do it for the cash, and you're certainly not going to do it for, because I'd see we've got such big shows happening at the moment, if you're not really enjoying being in the van with your band, so um, reinvention is an important part of actually being relevant, I reckon, and we've all had a crack at that, but... Maybe we're getting older. See, I'm the youngest guy in the band by a mile in the nerve, and I'm sort of no spring chicken, so that's interesting. Maybe um, maybe this one's, you know, it's got world dads and that sort of thing, so maybe we're just going to be like, oh, I don't know, chill it out. I really don't know, Hoagie. I'm, yeah. I'm just having a crack, and I feel uh, reasonably confident that we're going to smash it. But, I mean, the riffs are there, the songs are there, and we've also got a bunch of international tourings lined up and um, it's gonna be a it's gonna be a lot of hard work. But um, it's exciting the potential at the moment is the most exciting part of it. Mentioned about the tracks, the ones that we've been featuring have been cracking. There's just such a huge element of just straight up heavy grooves and 
as much as everyone is aware of what you've done in the past, as well as uh, Lucius as an example, uh, it definitely doesn't sound like that. You know, sometimes when bands get together from previous bands, you sort of get a mishmash of their previous sort of elements. But aside from your, you know, vocals, which are, uh, are very notable, do you sort of roughly know when we can uh, expect to have that released? Well, no, but it will be by the end of this year. Okay. So we've, we've actually just had some scheduling shift. So, for instance, last night, Glenn flew in from, Pla- Glenn flew in from Prague at 5 a.m. yesterday, and then he stayed up jet-lagged, and we were up until... 11 o'clock shooting a video. Um, we don't get enough time to engage in the processes of being in a band like the normal bands would have um, to, to sort of... Basically, you know, we've got a, a, a 10-track, 33-minute record recorded, and in, that, in, the, in, the, in the way it reminds me of, you know, like... Was it Rain in Blood by Slayer that was so short? Was it, what, how yeah, long did that album go I think go it was forward? about 29 minutes or something like that. Right. Well, that's, that's not too far away from what we've done with this record. Um, although it's a completely different sound, it's, it's a very punchy... Direct. And, and full. Full and direct, exactly. It's certainly not something you'll, you'll listen to and go, oh, gee, they should have put more on that record because there's a lot going on. But So we've just sort of followed our instincts on that and... And Glenn's come and brought the rear solutions, done his part. Just, we've really tried to follow our instincts on that. And um, um, I, I, we will get it done. But then as soon as we, we finish a song, then someone wants us to go on tour. And then all of a sudden we have to go to seas. And then we have to make a video. And there's all these elements to being in a band um, that we enjoy, that we absolutely love. Uh, but... We're, we've just had a few things pushed back only in the last two weeks because we've now got to start preparing visas and all that sort of stuff, which is time-consuming. Well, tell us quickly a bit about the uh, the, the live tour. Of course, uh, you know, the, the, the tour's already sort of kicked off, but when you mentioned about the record not being out, how much is off the new album in the live set? The live set of the new album? It's an interesting question. We're playing all 10 songs from the album, and then we're going to be playing um, a couple of newer ones, uh, that we what we wanted to we wanted to have some some more groove on there some slower stuff. We, we, only last night I was sitting in the studio listening to Sabbath with Glenn, um, and we've also been listening to some of Pantera's more down downbeat groove and realizing that we'd written quite a uptight, anxious, and quite punk record in, in its own way. And um, um, I guess if punks could play guitar like Glenn, Glenn Proudfoot, which most of them can't, but we we have. Um, that aesthetic, so we're just trying to get a few down tempo things, introduce a couple of covers, um, which will be unexpected. The covers will not be something that you will maybe even recognise. Um, but that's sort of more to test out our own abilities as a band, and then we're writing some new stuff as well. Um, there's going to be lots of solos from Mr. Proudfoot. There's going to be plenty of drumming from from Lush and. And, of course, everyone's going to get their hard time to shine. DeVarge is going to get his time to shine as well. So there'll be that element of showbiz, you know. I mean, you, you would, you'd like Kiss, wouldn't you, Hoagie? Of course. I grew up on Kiss. Right. Well, I mean, there's, there's, there's definitely an element of showbiz in that, and that's something that I think that good rock and roll shouldn't shy away from. So we're going to be bringing all of it, you know, technicality, um, songwriting, and then a little bit of um, showbiz all the way from Kiss to Queen. Awesome. Well, of course, uh, we'll check out the rest of the, uh, the, some of the tour dates. Of course, you're playing this Thursday at the uh, ANU Bar in Canberra, then Friday, the Spectrum in Sydney, and then on Saturday, the Great Northern in Newcastle, then shows throughout uh, late June in Port Macquarie, Byron Bay, Brisbane, Geelong, and uh, also Melbourne. Of course, people can stay tuned to uh, Heavy at Home, which we can keep you up to date on the nerves down there uh, tour. So thanks again for your time, Zeke. And of course, we've only got two tracks at the moment which have been flogging, being Witness and Down There. So you can take your pick out of those two of the track you want to uh, check out to conclude our chat. Oh, it's got to be down there, Hoagie, because we're on the down there tour. And um, I just think um, the more people hear this riff, the better. It's one of my favourites that Glenn wrote for the album. Um, and I'm really proud, proud of this song. And you should also go to YouTube and check out the film clip for this track, um, which was shot out at Scream Louder with Reggie Bowman. And just please, 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 whatever you do, turn it up out there. Turn it up. It's meant to be listened to fucking loud, this music. Awesome. Well, all the best. Be in touch and uh, let's check out some uh, The Nerve Now here on Heavy at Home. Thanks, Zeke. It's my pleasure, Hoagie. See you up.